In this video, we will solve a problem that was asked by a brother on Telegram channel of Econ Maths. The question is given the utility function is u of x, y is equal to x to the power 3 upon 4 times y to the power 3 upon 4. x and y are the two goods. u denotes the utility. Price of x is being given as $6. Price of y is $3. And income of the consumer is $120. We have to find out the optimal quantities of two goods using Langridge's method. Okay. So I have cut it short this question. It was quite lengthy there okay uh, because i don't have the infinite space uh, to make my videos so let's start now what we are being given we are being given the utility function and let me use another color here so we have the utility function is u is equal to x to the power 3 upon 4 y to the power 3 upon 4 this is our utility function and we will construct the budget constraint constraint first okay so Budget constraint is simply price of x times units of x plus price of y times units of y should be equal to income. That means uh, income should be exhausted on the expenditure of both goods here. And we are being given here price of x is uh, 6 here and we will write it here. So we have 6x, six 6x six uh, plus 3y uh, should be equal to m. And in place of m we have 120 okay now what we need to uh, do we simply need to maximize our utility that is uh, x to the power 3 upon 4 y to the power 3 upon 4 to find the optimal quantities we want to maximize this utility subject to the budget constraint that is such uh, subject to the budget constraint that is 6x plus 3y should be equal to 120 this is our problem now okay and how do we do that using the languages method uh, first step is we set this uh, language uh, this constraint equal to zero that means we have 120 minus 6x minus 3y is equal to zero first step is to set the constraint equal to zero second step is to multiply this constraint with lambda that means uh, we write lambda times 120 minus 6x minus 3y okay is equal to 0 third step is to form the languages function and languages function is formed by simple what we write we write l as the languages function it is formed by adding our utility function this uh, utility function and the new resulting budget constraint so utility function is x to the power 3 upon 4 y to the power 3 upon 4 okay and we add this new resulting constraint that is lambda times uh, 120 minus 6x minus 3y okay so we form the languages function now first order condition for maximization requires that what will we do we take the partial derivative of this Langridge's function with respect to x, y, and lambda and set them equal to 0 simultaneously. Let's write it here. So we take L subscript x. Let us say it denotes the partial derivative of this function with respect to x. Okay. So derivative of x to the power 3 upon 4 in this term will be 3 upon 4 will become the coefficient x and this exponent will be subtracted by 1 so 3 upon 4 minus 1 will come out to be minus 1 upon 4 and y to the power 3 upon 4 remain as it is because we are partially taking derivative with respect to x here okay uh, in these you can see we have x in the second term so derivative of x is 1 we are left with minus 6 so we get minus 6 lambda and we set it equal to 0 symmetrically we take the partial derivative with respect to y this time so again we can write uh, since we are taking partial derivative with respect to y so the exponent of y will become the coefficient so we have 3 upon 4 uh, y to the power minus 1 upon 4 x to the power 3 upon 4 will remain same and here we have in the last term the variable y so derivative of y is 1 we are left with minus 3 so minus 3 lambda lambda is equal to zero 
and lastly we lastly we take the derivative with respect to lambda no lambda is involved in the first term lambda is here derivative of lambda is 1 so we are left with 120 minus 6x minus 3y and we also set it equal to 0 <coughs> now what we uh, need to do let us say this is equation first equation second and equation third we divide equation one with equation second that means we have uh, 3 upon 4 x to the power minus 1 upon 4 y to the power 3 upon 4 we will divide it with 3 upon 4 uh, y to the power minus 1 upon 4 x to the power 3 upon 4 okay so if i transpose these terms here it will become plus 6 lambda okay it will be become like this okay i'm just saying this uh, space here so lambda lambda will get cancelled 6 upon 3 is 2 that reduces our problem to 3 upon 4 3 upon 4 gets cancelled <coughs> sorry if i transpose this x to the power minus 1 upon 4 to the numerator to the denominator it will get uh, you know multiplied with this x and 3 upon 4 uh, plus 1 upon 4 it will become x simple thing we have x to the power minus 1 upon 4 in the denominator we have x to the power 3 upon 4 what i do here i write 1 upon x to the power 3 upon 4 and transpose this to the new uh, denominator the exponent sign will get changed when we transport numerator to denominator or vice versa so it becomes x to the power 1 upon 4 now bases are same we can add up the exponents in the denominator so it becomes x to the power 3 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4 which becomes 1 upon x here okay so and um same process happens when we transpose this numerator this denominator to numerator it will become 3 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4 which is equal to 1 so we are left with y upon x is equal to 2 which implies y is equal to 2x okay now what we need to do here we just plug y is equal to 2x either in this third equation or in our budget constraint uh, which was this okay it will be better to put it in this budget constraint okay so we have 6x plus 3 in place of y we have 2x is equal to 120 which is 6x plus 6x is equal to 120 this is 12x is equal to 120 which gives us x is equal to 120 upon 12 120 upon 12 12 ones are so x is equal to 10 we got the optimal value of good x is 10 now just plug x is equal to 10 back in this to get the value of y that means y will be equal to 2 times the value of x which we got 10 that means optimal value of good 2 optimal quantity of good 2 will be 20 okay so we got the solution is x is equal to 10 x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 20 that will be the optimal uh, you know combination of bundles that the consumer will consume so that he maximizes his utility subject to the given budget constraint i hope i make myself clear in the suite thank you